What up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into um, my good sis voice for the people. Neek speaks on pregnancy. Michi speaks on Carmen being with Corey recently. CJ So Cool versus his mama child. Let's get it. She had to say. Here to go, yeah. You headed out? Yeah, at this point. Gotta go to my doctor's appointment in Houston. Which one's the doctor's for? Because I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> not the, uh, not the internet telling everybody that everybody's pregnant. That's not pregnant. <laughs> <clears throat> they just a little bloated, chair. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to get my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the people are saying. I see that. <laughs> Deb and Brittany's relationship has been on and off for years, and recently they broke up again. And a lot of people in the comments were saying that Brittany is gonna go back, but to let people know that she's actually standing on business this time and she's not going back, she covered up Dub's name tattoo. So Jessa was now well, single and moved back home to her hometown, revealed that she got a new. I one. never understood a relationship this entire YouTube uh, time they've been on here. So. Yeah, whatever. Apartment a week <laughs> after breaking up with Reed. If there was a book dedicated to not letting the nigga hold you back after y'all break up, Jess would be on the front motherfucking page. Because not only did she leave when that oh, told man. her to go, she drove 14, 15 hours home. Went on about her normal motherfucking life like nothing happened. She was still on the beach in the gym reading her books. Like nothing happened. And not only that, that bitch popped out a week afterwards in her own motherfucking apartment. See, what I think he thought was, oh, I'm finna tell her to leave and she gonna have to go back to her mama house. She said, nope, bitch. Got my own shit in that clock. <laughs> <laughs> is busy with her kids Facts. and Corey, so Michi's been hanging out with other women. Well, a lot of supporters <sighs> in Michi comments are not happy about the new women on his channel. So he recently said this. Y'all know I ain't really trying to. Y'all just need to get over it. How long is this? Just get over Date it. Date seriously right now. You feel me? Like, you know, uh, all the shit that's been going on on social media, bro, like, with the, you know, with the last situation and all. It's just. just all the extra shit, bro, like, it's so much shit that kind of, like, turned me off from, like, dating and shit, bro, like, to the point where now I'm just like, bro, all right, let me go ahead and just have some fun, let me just relax, let me just chill out, you know what I mean, and still put my emotion on the music. Women, I feel like women, like, they just don't want, like, I don't know if they want love, or I don't know if they want to, you know, be in the club, or I don't know if they want to, you know, Want some some fake shit? I don't know if they want some. Real Women wanna just have fun. Girls love to have fun. Real shit. I don't know if they want some. You know. That's what I mean? it. <laughs> I mean, like, I just don't know what the fuck women want, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. Like, I don't know. I let y'all understand what I've been dealing with. You know what I mean? And how I really been feeling. You know, from just trying to put my all out there and just you know give somebody this 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 or be this 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 for for certain people and and it's not reciprocated or it's just not received or it's just not the time or whatever the case may be, you feel me? Like, I feel like I'm not the only that go through all this type of shit, you feel me? India, who's a popular IG Definitely model, not. recently was on Michi's channel and had this to say. <laughs> all right, so since Michi refuses to let me address his YouTube commenters on his page, I'm gonna address y'all on mine. Number one, no, I'm not pregnant. Stomach is giving flat, it's giving tea, sip it up. Um, sure. Dose, I seen like some comments saying like, oh, she's a five out of 10, she's mid. This is no filter. Have you seen me? I'm confused. 12 out of 10. And yeah. Trace, number three, <laughs> I feel like y'all are being so judgmental when like literally 90% of the video is me being sarcastic. Y'all aren't supporters. Y'all aren't followers. So like, yeah, don't get my humor. Like you don't know when I'm being serious or not. And obviously you're not a friend of mine. So you wouldn't know when I'm joking and when I'm being serious. But I feel like just watch the video, enjoy it, laugh a little bit, like stop taking it so seriously. Like just, you know, have a good time, keep it cute and just keep it respectful. CJ so cool mama the end. in a previous video exposed how CJ really treats his grandma who raised him. That link is popping up as well as this down below. But CJ wasn't too happy about his biological mom exposing certain things that's happening behind the scenes. So he put up a video of his own. Now he posted and he deleted it, but here's a clip from that video. Literally, you would make more views, I'm telling you, I'm talking to you mom, my own mom. You would make more views just telling the truth on yourself, just telling your life story. I guarantee you people will be more interested in you talking about your life 
than you trying to down your son that actually made something of itself without your help. I can't even give my grandma the credit. I, I barely saw my grandma. My grandma Dang. was never around. She was at the hotel, Ale Inn, where she worked at, or she was at the Majestic Star Casino, where she gambled at. But being in our lives and being a part of it, there was no activities. You know what? I'm so tired of saying, I'm so tired of telling people. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, these, the kids that we're raising, <clears throat> and I hope mine don't do it because I'm trying my best to change this time thing. But a lot of children are going to resent a lot of us because we have to work 10 times harder than what our parents did. And a lot of us were resenting our parents for working as as much as they were working as well. When that's the way life set up. If, if you don't work, bills don't get paid. I, and I'm talking about that's the end. If you don't work, bills are not getting paid at all. Okay? So let me get this off here. So um, it's going to be a lot of resentment, you know what I'm saying, coming from a lot of kids, especially the ones that we're raising, I feel like. I could be wrong, but some of them, they be so happy with being in their phone and just having something to eat. They they act like they don't care. But uh, I feel like if we teach them the right things, and I'm not talking about what that school was talking about. I'm talking about credit and um, love and, you know what I'm saying, finances real bad, how to buy a house and things like that because they're going to want these things. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if we don't teach them that, that's what they're going to be mad about. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I didn't get to play sports because my grandma wasn't, she wasn't letting me do that. No, I wasn't allowed to play sports because my grandma claimed she couldn't afford for the physical to be paid. She didn't have enough time to take me to get the physical and she definitely wasn't taking and bringing me from practice. I wasn't a And that's something to resent somebody for. Um, but you know, my gripe with this is grandma didn't have to do it. Cause grandma ain't mama. Grandma's grandma. She's supposed to be chilling. It sucks that he's so mad at his grandma when she ain't have to do none of that. Allowed to do what most kids dream of doing, which is just playing sports because I didn't have a family that thought that it was important enough for me to do those things. I just was like, well, you know what? I'm just gonna stay at home. I'm gonna do what my great grandma tell me to do because it was always something to do. Vacuum the floor with your bare hands. Yes, ma'am. CJ so wow. cool mom responded and here's what she had to say. Let it go and go get therapy because that's what you need is therapy at this point. And I can't let no demon seed do this to me. And I'm not because that's what he acting like a freaking demon seed. Oh, I get it. He needs some views. So why not feel with your mom? That's what it is CJ. You need some views. Oh, your views then went down. So let's do this. My mom's starting some shit. My mom is clout chasing. So let me get some views off of bashing my mom. You the one. That's terrible. You know what I hate about the the mothers that wasn't there for you? I told y'all I'm biased because um, the lady that had me wasn't there for me, right? And even as an adult, she ain't even trying to nothing, right? They never take accountability for shit. And they never just say, like, it's my fault. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I, I, I'm sorry. Like, I wish I could do better for you, whatever. Let me do better now. Some people are just not willing to forgive, and I feel like CJ So Cool is one of them. But I definitely was, and, baby, it still didn't work. So we damned if we do, damned if we don't, to be honest with you. But the not taking accountability and just kind of, like, brushing it off and – now she's saying he want views, which CJ is a view hoe. So I get it, but still, that man got feelings. I'm with the millions of subscribers, not me. Jesus Christ, so you want to keep going on and on, back and forth with this, right? You want me to keep going? You don't want me to go there, buddy. So childish. That is so freaking childish. Man, you just turned 35 years old. This boot is in my... um. Hold on. Instead of just taking accountability and actually feeling for him, you're going to keep feeling that shit. You're going to keep feeling it. <clears throat> what made me feel better, somebody's mom told me um, that, you know, she going to always have to sleep on her pillow at night by herself and deal with the things that she's created, you know. And 
quite frankly, the lady that had me, I don't think she do that. I, don't, I still don't think uh, she feel anything for me. I mean, I tried to um, speak with her, and it just did not go good. So at least she got a feeling, you know what I'm saying? But to to not give accountability to basically say he looking for views and then turn around crying, it's crazy. After I didn't apologize, and then if she's and apparently my apology wasn't good enough. She apologized, ah, oh. no. but you know what? Unfortunate. I'm not gonna feed off into nobody's bullshit. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, she shouldn't have to. Because mind you, I just got off the phone with her. And we both listen to your video together. We both listen to your video together. And you lie through your fucking teeth. You lie. You lie for views? Dude, are you down that bad? What did he lie? About? I mean, I apologize for my role in this. And I was done with it, you know. <clears throat> But no, what do you do? Wait, what? She can't apologize and be done with it. That's the problem. It, it'll be a work in progress. This is 30 years you've missed here, uh, lady. Almost 40. Two days? <clears throat> Three days? I'm biased. And then come out I'm biased. I'm not going to lie. I'm biased, so. With all these lies? Man, that hurt my mama to the core. My mom is devastated behind him lying on her. <laughs> He can't even call nobody in private to discuss this. No, he'd rather get on the internet. I already told you guys that he don't call us. He don't call us at all. <clears throat> and it's sad. It is. It's sad. He'd rather rant and rave on the fucking internet. Excuse my language. The person, the people he need to be talking to is me and her, not the world. For the world to hear this mess. If this is what he think is really happening, and he, and he know he what he's saying is lies, 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 lies. Shame on you. God don't like ugly, and he ain't too fond of pretty. I'm gonna tell you. And I don't care how many people believe that shit that's coming out of his mouth. I've been said we all need therapy. You think he wanna go to therapy? His therapy is YouTube. Yes, it is. You know, a lot of black men don't like therapy. Um, and I don't mean all, oh, I'm the majority. Okay. Um, I think he needs it. Do I think it'll help though? I don't, he got his, he's a mind made up type of guy. When he got his mind made up, he got it made up. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Uh, I want to make it clear that I am being biased because I too went through the same thing. Um, and I absolutely feel where he coming from a hundred percent, but I also kind of see where she coming from too. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.